Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Time with Lorenzo. Our featured book today is Sleep Sheep by Carrie Lynn Sparrow, illustrated by Guillaume Perrault, creatively read and adopted by Lorenzo. Duncan does not like going to sleep. He'll do anything to avoid it. His mom has had enough. And leaves him to figure it out on his own. Sleep Sheep. Duncan liked bedtime snacks and bedtime stories. He liked putting on his favorite pajamas. If there is bubblegum flavored toothpaste, Duncan even liked brushing his teeth. The only thing Duncan did not like about bedtime was going to sleep, and he would do anything he could to avoid it. Duncan was pretty sure. He knew enough tricks to avoid going to sleep for the foreseeable future. What he didn't know was that his mom had a few tricks up her sleeve too. One night, Duncan found that his room was not quite as he had left it. What do you think Duncan's mom did to his room? Warmer pajamas, cooler pajamas, directions to bathroom. Nightlight one, granola bar with raisins, granola bar without raisins, jug of water for refills, glass of water, flashlight, long books, short books, extra blanket, seventeen cuddly toys, wool socks. Box of tissues. Night light number two. Cotton socks. Extra pillow, fluffy. Extra pillow, hard. After his favorite bedtime story, Duncan's mom gave him a hug and a kiss and said, "Sweet dreams, Duncan." But I need. But Duncan couldn't think of anything because everything he could possibly need. Was right there in his room, but I'm not sleepy. Duncan wailed. Try counting sheep, his mom suggested, and closed the door. Have you ever counted sheep to fall asleep? What do you think will happen next? Duncan took a deep breath and tried to think sheepy thoughts. One, he whispered. To his surprise. A handsome sheep with a green number one on his side jumped right over his bed. Duncan rubbed his eyes. Two, another sheep. This one wearing a purple number two, with a matching scarf, jumped over his bed. Duncan looked around his room and saw that one side was crowded with sheep. They all wore numbers, like race cars. Counting sheep. Was going to be more interesting than Duncan had thought. He fluffed up his pillow, pulled up his blanket, and continued. It was all going very well, and Duncan was even starting to feel a bit sleepy when he got to sixty-eight. Sixty-eight said Duncan. Sheep number sixty-eight stepped into position, and then hesitated. Duncan paused his counting and waited. He waited, and waited, and waited. Finally, he asked, "Is there a problem, number sixty-eight?" Sheep number sixty-eight cleared his throat. It's just, well, do you think I could have a drink of water before I jump? Why do you think sheep number sixty-eight wants a drink of water? Duncan reached for the glass of water that his mom had left and passed it over to him. When sheep number sixty-eight had emptied the glass, Duncan said, "Ready?" Sheep number sixty-eight nodded. Sixty-eight, Duncan said, and then waited. He waited, and waited, and waited. But sheep number sixty-eight didn't jump. Is there something else you need? Duncan asked. It's just, well, after all that water, 
I really have to, you know, dunk inside. The bathroom is down the hall. When sheep number 68 returned, Duncan fixed him with a determined stare and said, 68. Again, nothing happened. What now? Duncan asked, exasperated. Why do you think sheep number 68 is not jumping? What would you do to help him? Well, I'm just not sure I'm quite ready to jump yet. Maybe you could have a few of the other sheep jump first? Maybe I could jump after sheep number 72? Duncan stared at him. You want me to count? 67 69 70 71 72 68 Sheep number 68 looked sheepish. I can't count like that, Duncan said. It's your turn to jump now. Sheep number 68 thought he would like a bit of a run at the bed, so the other sheep cleared a path for him. But he put on the brakes at the last second. Maybe he could use a step stool instead. No, he didn't feel comfortable about that. Maybe he should stretch first. Or perhaps borrow sheep number 23's running shoes. What if he took his socks off? No. What if he put his socks back on? It went on and on like this. And still, sheep number 68 would not jump. After drinking his third glass of water, sheep number 68's eyes started to droop. Look, said Duncan. You're tired. He pointed to the other side of his bed. Do you think sheep number 68 will finally jump? See how relaxed and comfortable those 67 sheep are? Why don't you just join them? Sheep number 68 yawned, heaved a big sigh, and finally made his sway over to the other side of the bed. Sheep number 69, in his sleekest racing suit and extra springy sneakers, looked expectantly at Duncan. But Duncan was fast asleep. Who knew that bedtime could be so exhausting? <laughs> Knowledge check. What did Duncan not like about bedtime? Going to sleep, putting on his pajamas, bedtime snacks, or bedtime stories? The answer is going to sleep. What did his mom tell him to do to help him sleep? Count sheep, drink some water, jump on the bed, or do jumping jacks? The answer is count sheep. Who are all the characters in the story? Dogs, Duncan, his mom and the sheep, Duncan and his friends, or Duncan? The answer is Duncan, his mom, and the sheep. What was the setting of the story? The playground, Duncan's bedroom, Duncan's school, or a farm? The answer is Duncan's bedroom. How were Duncan and sheep number 68 the same? They both didn't like bedtime. They both loved pizza. They both roller skate. The answer is, they both didn't like bedtime. How'd you do? Let's find out. Wow, you rocked it! The end. Please subscribe for more fun and exciting read aloud videos on Storytime with Lorenzo. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe.